hello there. there. I'm Robert. And, and we are late to the party, and Columbia Pictures is once again releasing their Columbia Classics 4K Collector's Edition. And like Volume 1, Sony Pictures has sent us this Volume 2 to be able to open up, unbox, and check out what they have in store for us. Right. And like the Volume 1, Volume 2 is also an exclusive. So uh, these movies you can only find... As of right now, it's very possible that they could come out later in 4K. But as of right now, you can only find them in 4K in this collector's box. And like the previous volume, you end up getting three movies on each side that fold out with the 80-page hardbound book covering the history and the impact of each one of the films. Yes. Uh, which I really like because I like going through the history of, you know, how they were made. It's really intriguing. Plus, getting the movies is great as well. And the collection also comes with a bonus disc that has 20 shorts that are under the Columbia Pictures Library. Yeah, some of them are Academy Award winning shorts and uh, nominated shorts. So that's exciting that they uh, were able to kind of pick uh, a couple of them uh, to put with this collection. Yeah, because so many of those shorts, you know, people will watch them when they're nominated or mentioned and then they get forgotten about. So it's great that they have a new breath of life when it comes to the Columbia collection. Yes. And like the previous volume, they end up giving you the digital codes as well to be able to download each one of the movies to take it on the go wherever you want. So the first movie that I have here on my side is going to be Anatomy of a Murder. Jimmy Stewart. A riveting courtroom drama is brought to life with an all-star cast in the suspenseful and highly acclaimed Anatomy of Murder, which was nominated for seven Academy Awards, including Best Picture. What's cool about this is that some of the features here, they have a new commentary with film historian Foster Hirsch, and then there are a couple of other um, interviews in there as well. And as well, you're getting top tier video quality and audio as well. And first movie on my side, of course, is the David Fincher very topical recently hit the social network i remember watching this one in theaters uh and it was a great movie i really enjoyed what he ended up doing david fincher that is with this film and everybody in it it's one of those ones where i didn't think i'd go back and re-watch over and over again but every time it's on i tend to get gravitated towards it and watch it again. Also the first time I saw Andrew Garfield. I agree. I think that it is one of those ones, like if you're sh uh, shuffling through the different channels and it's on, I'm like, sure. okay, I'll just keep it on. Right. Um, which was kind of interesting to, I remember when they were talking about it, when it for, like was going to come out and everything like that. And I was like, oh, they're going to make a movie about Facebook. Sure. That's interesting. Right. Uh, Cause you know, going from MySpace to Facebook, it was kind of like in that between error. Uh, so it was interesting to kind of see the ins and outs of the dramatization version of how Facebook came to be. And we've come a long way since then. Yes. And of course, The Social Network was nominated for eight Academy Awards, including Best Picture in 2010. And it does include commentary tracks with Aaron Sorkin, David Fincher. You get some special features about the how did they ever make a movie about Facebook, the visuals, the music with Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, which have done very well for themselves recently as well. Yeah. So definitely a hit. I will be checking it out in 4K. The third movie on our list here we have... <gasps> da, 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 da. Oliver. Oh, May I have some more? <laughs> That's really all I know about this movie. I mean, it's the picture right there, too. Of course. <laughs> it was the winner of six 1968 Academy Awards, including Best Picture. For special features on here, we have a new commentary with film historian Stephen C. Smith. And then there's a Jack Wilde screen test that's new on here as well. And then, of course, you get like the meeting Oliver, the sing-alongs. There's also a dance-along and then some of the trailers. Sing-along and dance-along to Oliver. You know what? I didn't even realize it was a musical. So, I mean, th that's what I love about these collections is they bring films to your attention that you've known about, but now you can watch it in the best way possible, aside, of course, from watching it in a theater. Right. And the fourth movie, Sense and Sensibility. I remember the pictures. I remember when it came out. I've never seen it, but I've heard good things. Oh, I love it. I'm so excited that I get, uh, get to see it in 4K resolution. Uh, just to all of the Jane Austen mo or, you know, books and stuff like that that be have become movies are uh, some of my favorites, too. So I'm super excited to kind of see Sense and Sensibility um, in the highest resolution there is. And of course, Sense and Sensibility was nominated for seven 
Academy Awards, including Best Picture in 1995, directed by Ang Lee, which I didn't realize, but yeah, Vanessa informed me of that. <laughs> Emma Thompson, Alan Rickman, Kate Winslet, Hugh Grant, so many power players when it comes to a uh, more romantical period piece with a little bit of comedy. Yeah. And the special features do include the 25th anniversary reunion back to Barton Cottage. Uh, I'm sure you're going to be excited about that. Oh, I am. The only thing that makes me sad is that the fact that, you know, we no longer have Alan Rickman here. Of course. Uh, but I'm sure that they will speak to him, you know, like w what was going on during that time when they were filming it and, you know, his presence uh, there as well. And then the last one on my side, da -da -da -da, Taxi Driver, which I'm really excited for. I think that this is one of the best uh, Robert De Niro movies. One of his best Robert De Niro movies. That There's a lot. Really good. Um, he plays such a troubled character in this, but I also really enjoy like the story based on uh, like what what's going on with him and stuff in in the situations that he gets himself into. And of course, he is not a character that you should idolize in any way, but it does give you a glimpse into mental health and of course the troubling times that they were in and we are still in. So it translates very heavily into what is going on in society now. Uh, that's what makes Taxi Driver timeless. You talking to me, iconic quotes, yeah. imagery across the board. Yeah, that is definitely, I love the fact that you can kind of go through some, a lot of these movies that we've been talking about and pick out like a quote, especially, you know, you talking to me, that is definitely uh, probably in the top 10 of most recognizable quotes from a movie. Sure. In and, my opinion. And you can't have movies like Joker without movies like Taxi Driver as well. Yes. Taxi Driver is also the winner of the prestigious Golden Palm at the Cannes Film Festival in 1976, and it was nominated for four Academy Awards, including Best Picture. Some of the special features that you'll also get is going to be a 40-minute Taxi Driver Q&A featuring Martin Scorsese, Robert De Niro, Jodie Foster, and many more recorded live. And then, of course, it's got the trailers in there, too. I'm looking forward to that Q&A, too, with the gang, so mm -hmm. it's going to be exciting to go through this once again in such high quality. And the last film on my side, this one I was incredibly excited for, especially because I found out it was in this collection after I heard that they were coming out with a 4K release. Then they told us we were getting this collection, and this is the one that I saw at far too young of an age, uh, but fell in love with it. This one was like a companion to Ghostbusters for me. I loved Harold Ramis and Bill Murray in Ghostbusters. Then I found out about Stripes and fell in love with this movie all over again. So having this film in 4K is definitely exciting for me. I know, uh, going back and watching the 4K released trailer for it, it looked really good. Like, the resolution looked really, really good. So I'm looking forward to seeing it in the 4K version, or in 4K, like the whole movie. And this special edition is going to give you the theatrical and the extended versions. I barely found out recently there was an extended version. You're also going to get the 40 Years of Stripes with Bill and Ivan, which is a two-part on-camera reunion between Bill Murray and Ivan Reitman discussing their careers and memories from the set, including a tribute to, of course, Harold Ramis. You also get the theatrical trailer, like Vanessa said, it looks so good uh, in 4K. And you're also gonna get the documentary about Stripes and the commentary across the board. And that's the fact, Jack. <laughs> So thank you so much to Sony and Columbia Pictures for sending us the Volume 2 of the Columbia Classics 4K Ultimate Collection. You guys, if you want this collection, it will be available starting October 12th. It has an on-sale price right now of $119.99 if you order it online, pre-order it. Normally, though, it's going for around $165. Yeah, so like you said, you know, if any of these tickle your fancy, definitely pick it up. But thank you guys so much. You can like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Discord. All the social networking, ginger, and you know where they are. Kick into the party, feel the party, keep the party going on our Patreon. Which is your favorite out of the collection? Which one would you buy this collection for? Tell us, yeah, right there and right here for me. But I'm excited to go for the ones we've never seen. Actually, getting taxi driver too. But thank you guys so much, and as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.